So how's it going for you staying home a lot more? i tell you how it's going for me. I am getting to realize a lot of things about myself and deal with them, um, especially in how I think about things. I want to show you an example of something on the map here. Okay. So this blue blob is my church, okay? And this X is where I live. All right. So when I go to church, I like to feel that I'm heading, you know, like towards the church. But whenever my daughter goes from my house, she goes away. And it's, you know, like not going towards the church and, and then this way, okay? Now, I always say to her, if I'm riding with her, why are you going this way? Why don't you go the other way? Because, you know, that's, you're heading towards the church. And she said, well, I've just always gone this way. So, one day I went ahead and I clocked both ways. Do you know what? It was the same exact distance either way. Here, let me show you again. To go from here to here, whether you go that way or that way, it's the same. All right, so um, I just have in my mind, this has just always been the way I think. If you're going someplace, you want to always be heading towards that place. But, um, and I'm like a big map person. I love studying maps and stuff. Well, my daughter is not. And she was shown to go the other way, and she goes the other way. And all this time, I've been feeling like, gee whiz, why doesn't she go the way I go? So we feel like we're making progress and really headed in the direction of the church. Well, as it turns out, you can go either way. And I have looked at that map and looked at that map, and I've said to myself, you know what? The facts are that either way is fine. Gonna use the same amount of gas, probably going to take the same amount of time. There's railroad tracks across both ways. So, you know, if you don't hit the train here, you're probably going to hit it there. So, I have to get in my mind now the fact that her way is okay, too. Even though I feel like my way is makes more sense, really, it doesn't, does it? Because it's the same distance either way. Okay, so... This has to do with not just how I was thinking, but sort of how it made me feel, okay? And, and also it made me feel justified. This is a better way. Oh, but it turns out that either way is good, okay? Either way gets you there, same distance, anyhow. You know, there used to be a song, I think it was back in the 1970s, maybe Debbie Boone sang it? Pat Boone's daughter, you know, you light up my life, la 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 la. It can't be wrong if it feels so right. Those were, you know, the last two lines of the song, and you know, because you light up my life. All right, you know, it can be wrong even if it feels so right because our feelings need to, oh gosh, and you and I have talked about this before. Our feelings need to support reasonable, well thought out decisions and not be like if you imagine a train. You don't want your feelings to be the train engine, okay? You want the train engine to be reasonable, practical, level headed thought. And then, you know, sometimes, yeah, your feelings tell you something important. Like if you turn the corner and there's a lion standing there, you know, and you're not in the zoo, then your feelings are going to go, whoa, get out of here. And you will get out of here. You don't have to stand and think, hmm, 
hmm, now what are my options? You're probably just gonna run, you know? And that's, that's a good use of your feelings. Um, sometimes you're dealing with somebody um, in a situation and you just feel like, I don't know about this person. I, I feel as though they're not trustworthy. Well then, you exercise caution. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you don't turn around and walk away or something. Um, you exercise caution. That's a reasonable thing to do. You're using your feelings to contribute to the decisions that you're making. And, you know, so like this whole map thing that I showed you, that actually just happened this morning. I was thinking about that and I had mapped, uh, you know, taken the routes before this whole, you know, coronavirus thing happened. So I knew they were both the same. And I was just thinking, how can that be? How can that be? But it is, it's true. I actually um, clocked it out more than once because I found it hard to believe that it was the same distance either way. Sometimes, even in the face of proof, we don't feel like we want to believe it. And I guess one of the things that I've been doing during this time is I've been facing some truths and working through the whole thing of believe it. You know, put this into your life because this is true. You need to do this. Or if you're going to, to err, you need to err on the side of caution rather than, you know, take all kinds of chances. So I just wanted to share that, you know, if it's such a mental struggle for me to say, well, her way is just as good as my way, you know, and that's just driving in the dang car. I mean, how many other things that are more important to me might I also have ways of thinking, some of which probably developed from back when I was a child? You know, because we don't usually think about, why do I think that? How did I come to think that way? But I'm finding that this time with fewer interactions with other people and not going out and busying myself up, I'm finding a lot of time to confront my thoughts and figure out, now just why do I think that? Because I think if I can get rid of some of these, well, my way is better kind of thoughts, like about the stupid, you know, which route to take to church, if I can get rid of some of those kind of thoughts, that can have a tendency almost to separate me a little bit from other people, I think that'll make for a better life for me. What do you think?